Guys, let's face it, tis the season. My favorite time of year, as a matter of fact, my favorite season. Oh, what season? Guys, it's song of the summer season. And I'm not talking about as it was Harry Styles top 40 song of the summer, hit song of the summer. I'm not talking about song of the summer made by I don't know, someone else? Well, actually, no, that is what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that space of TikTok that is full of videos of people in their car saying that they made the song of the summer. They don't want to jinx it, but their song is the song of the summer. But I wanted to talk more today about, like, has it ever happened? Has someone ever claimed they made the song of the summer and then it actually worked? Like, it became one of the songs of the summer? <laughs> Okay, listen, I think I wrote the song of the summer. Try not to get too excited, but seriously, just wait. Okay, it's called Bomb. It stands for Back on My Bullshit. We've all been there. Ready for this? Wait, what? 356,000 likes. 46,000, almost 47 thousand saves okay this is like the top result when you look up song of the summer okay but the fascinating thing about this song is that apparently it looks like this was posted in like may in december of 2021 she comments bomb is out now on all platforms so does this mean that this song took over half the year before it came out you can't make the song of the summer if you didn't put it out till God damn it, Christmas! Out May 14th. Oh, okay, so apparently it was supposed to come out May 14th. Wait, what the hell? There's no way you have... I, I, oh my God. This is too many to pre-save. What the hell? Wait, are they all actually... They're not all out yet? What the hell? So, this album came out August 30th with Bomb on it. But then Bomb also came out as a single... Bomb the single. It came out May 11th. So, this song actually came out May 11th. It was a single on the project that came out August 30th, but she didn't comment that it was out until December 2nd. But then when she responded to comments, she said May 14th, but it came out May 11th. Oh my gosh, I think I just wrote the song of the summer. Here we go. This one, I, I can't tell if this is gonna be one of the satire ones where people are making fun of the serious song of the summer videos or if it's gonna be serious there can't be 95 songs of the summer i would go as far as to say there can't even be 20 songs of the summer i think we've got to narrow it down if it's going to be called the song of summer we need to at least do like five single digit songs of the summer and right now i don't think we have a single one this summer this was last summer this was april i think that's actually prime time for these song of the summer videos no i don't i think that may is like prime song of the summer time because you're right before summer not respect the grind though mary is putting out a song like every day she's making like a song of the day she's not focused on the seasons anymore it's like maybe back then maybe last year she was focused on okay i'll make a song of the summer maybe i'll come out with a song of the fall no she's making song of the day is it my cup of tea no but you're making a song a day it's like what every song is gonna be the song of the summer no it's the song of the day move on to the next song we spent the day on it song i'm jay wolf and i think i just wrote the song, the song of the summer. So now everyone's saying Jai Wolf looks different here and then this isn't Jai Wolf. I don't know which so Jai Wolf Is this guy but this is not Jai Wolf, but she just said she's Jai Wolf But really this is Jai Wolf and it turns out she is Evelyn and now this song has 11 videos to it. So it's fascinating though, because it's like, it got a lot of likes. It's like this has 70,000 likes, it has 1300 bookmarks. I assume it probably blew up like around the time the song came out. So this happened this year in March. This song came out in March, nowhere near summer. And you know, by now that's pretty decent. That's a lot of streams, you know? But would I say this is the song of the summer of this summer? I would go as far to say, I don't know what the song of the summer at all is for this summer. I feel like there's been a lot of songs of the spring, 
But when I think of like, what is the A, B, C, D, E, F, U of this year? What is like the as it was of this year? What songs are the song of the summer? To the degree that those other songs were songs of the summer. Obviously there's songs that people are bumping in the summer. Can you think of anything that was like as it was level song of the summer? Of the summer. I'm not talking the spring, I'm talking the summer. And it's interesting because I feel like a lot of the time these videos making fun of the songs of the summer videos get more views and more traction than the song of the summer videos themselves. So is it frowned upon to do a song of the summer video and ironically, and does it almost guarantee that you're not gonna be taken seriously because everyone's laughing at you in the face? It's fascinating. It really is, because I don't know if it necessarily has that effect. The Jai Wolf person did the Song of the Summer this year, and it seemed like people took it seriously and they like it. 3.4 million talking about the Song of the Summer. 3.8 million. This guy's definitely making fun of it. Did I just write the Song of the Summer? Every song's about hot girl summer. What about a song for boys like me? This is like the top Song of the Summer video. Maybe besides my Song of the Summer video. Did I just write the Song of the Summer? fascinating about TikTok lately, especially like just this year in general, and especially with people promoting their own music, I feel like now more than ever, TikTok has like never been meaner. It's like, yeah, no, TikTok people in the comments have definitely been mean. Like they've always been mean. People on social media have always been mean. But it seems like people are like mean to like everyone just for the sake of being mean and bringing people down. And it almost feels like it's just like, it's just random. When people hate it on Lail, it's like, there was a reason why, you know? She made a really out of touch TikTok video about how her life is so hard but then you go on her profile and you see she has like, she's not just some little artist from the middle of nowhere. She's making these like tens of thousands of dollar music videos. The ungratefulness, the like entitledness and then bringing other artists down. You can understand why people brought that energy to her and why it kind of just like destroyed her possibility of having a music career. You can understand where the hate's coming from. Doesn't make it right to double down and like be horrible to her forever, but you can at least understand why people are having that reaction. It seems just like people on TikTok are way meaner to literally every musician on the app. Mid, not it, so not the song of the summer. Not just me, it's just like other people I see, like their comment sections, like sometimes people are just fucking ruthless. The person I think of first that comes to mind is Peter McPollin because he, he, he made this song, he made that one song, like why don't you get it? <laughs> By this point, it's like February and people are like nice, you know, people are like, oh yeah, I love this song and people are already like, oh, release it already, like hand over the song, when's the due date for the song? And there's no one mean, yeah, people are just like, when are you gonna put out the song? This is like a couple weeks later, we're in March. I don't know when he started promoting it, maybe January, say January. Refusing to release the release date seems like an elevation of the man. Can you just release the song so I can aggressively listen to it? Just tell us when it's coming out. I need the song so bad. If I hear the song one more time without being able to add it to the playlist, I'll go feral. I'm so scared that it's going to be released and I'll have forgotten about it. Too much. I can't do it anymore. Just release it, please. And then it's like, okay, post it again. Like another week from then. People are like, oh my god, no way. You just posted another Digital Silence promo and I can't wait for the next one. I never want to hear the full song, just the promo. Peter, please, I'm tired of having an unreleased song stuck in my head. We're tired. And people are just like nagging him to drop the song. And it's like, I get it. Yeah, he's made you wait months. Maybe he didn't realize that it would blow up the first time. I don't know. If the song doesn't come out soon, I will eliminate the youth. The youth being myself, okay? I really wish producers and managers would stop forcing artists into dragging out the promo. People are tired of the song because we've heard. Release it soon or we're gonna get sick of it. Bros higher ups clearly aren't reading these comments or they would stretch the promo out for this long. And it's like, yeah, okay, he took a long time to put out the song, goddammit. And then he puts out the song. What everyone's been asking for, he put out the song. Imagine you just post a demo on TikTok. I don't know how far along the song was, but imagine, I would imagine, say Peter just like put the song out and was like, oh, I wonder if people are gonna like it. Let's tease the song. Not even finished yet. It's literally just a demo of that one section that he thinks is like good. It blows up immediately and it's like, oh shit, you have to scramble to finish the song and get it right, but you also don't want to sacrifice the quality of the song. Maybe take your time and put some care into like, oh, the, I don't know, 
rest of the song. Everyone's been like, put out the song, put out the song. He puts out the goddamn song, and what does everyone say? What a letdown. Music doesn't just make TikTok sounds now. The rest of the song just an afterthought. Decent song, but not worth the long teaser time. Fell below expectations. All right, the three lines you promoted for months are fire. The rest of the song just doesn't live up. Next time, release a song. Just don't use it. It's like, can you imagine? Like, guys, can all this just for one second, like, close our eyes, take a deep breath, and remember that, like, these people aren't just characters, you know? It's like, yeah, sure, it's annoying that the song didn't come out. Imagine working on something and having all this pressure on you. Put out the song, put out the song, put out the song now. It's like, oh, God, okay, like, I'll, I'll put out the song. Jeez. And then everyone's like, song didn't live up to expectations mid. This is such a long tangent. This isn't even the song of the summer anymore. We're back in spring, and he never said this was the song of the summer. But the tolerance for music promotion has gone from here to, like, down through the core of the earth. People are just pissed off that people are still using TikTok to try to promote their music, I guess, even though that's, like, what the platform's known for. I guess people are just done with it because they see all music promotion as, like, bullshit. What else are you supposed to do at this point? As a musician, especially an independent musician, even a musician that's signed to a label, everyone's still really focused on TikTok. Everyone's still concerned about TikTok because the transfer over from a viral sound to the streams is still legitimate enough. I just feel like it's like people are just so mean, like really mean lately, and it stinks. It just stinks. Anyway. Okay guys, did I just write the song of the summer? Here we go. That's what my place smells like. I've seen more ironic ones than non-ironic ones at this point. It's fascinating that this format of promotion or even just like parody has stayed relevant to this year. It's it's transcended years. What TikTok trend do you think has transcended the years? Besides, did I just make the song of the summer? Every summer. It's been like three summers and people are not sick of the did I make the song of the summer joke. I'm not getting this the song of the summer. This is so bad. I can't believe how bad our music has gotten. Most soulless music I've ever heard. Like, oh my God, guys. I wouldn't compare this one to the other songs of the summer because the music industry is so oversaturated. There is a lot of soulless music. There is a lot of music that's just made to sound commercially appealing because it's marketable. It'll get streams and playlisting and streaming money. I don't think this one is one of those songs. I think this one just sounds like she had some fun making this song. Did I just write the song of the summer? <laughs> that one's pretty awesome. I do like that one. Okay, I think I just wrote the song of the summer. I thought eventually you'd grow up, you'd settle down, and you find the one, but you're still out acting young and reckless. So who's it gonna be? And now, because people are making fun of the Song of the Summer stuff, people are going to these serious Song of the Summer videos and being like, wow, like, search Song of the Summer to have a laugh and have fun, and it didn't disappoint. You didn't. No. No. Song of the Bummer. You did not. No. No, you did not. Guys, I feel like these people on TikTok, though, like, these random people, like, maybe she's not random. I don't know. I've never heard of her before. I don't think that these people are like, yeah, I'm gonna make a song that sounds like all these other songs, and I'm gonna make a lot of money on it. I, she probably just made a song that's just... The production's kind of generic, you know? It's just, like, not that memorable. But she's not an evil person. Like, I'm, like, a mastermind in a, in a lair with a, I don't know, crown or something. Like, I'm gonna fool all these people into playlisting my song and I'm gonna make $4,000 off of it. I don't think that's why Jillian Rossi's making that song. I think that's just the style that they like. And that's, like, fine. It's commercial for a reason. It's generic for a reason. because a lot of people like that sound. It's gotten to the point where people are just trying to express themselves and it's like, you can't win. Now more than ever, I feel like on TikTok, you just can't win when you're trying to promote your song. I get it because everyone's trying to do it and it gets tiring. It's annoying. It's like, shut up. I don't, I'm, maybe you're not on there to look for new music. Maybe you just want to see something funny and have a laugh. People are tired of the TikTok music promotion. They're tired of trying to be sold something on this app because it feels like as time has gone on, 
that's all people are using it for it feels way less genuine and fun and like spur of the moment like people actually are making content because they want to make content than it did in 2020 i don't think we'll ever go back to the era of tiktok like the golden age of tiktok i just wonder i just wonder what's next i wonder what the next tiktok is going to be doesn't everyone god damn it right let me know what you think of all this and thanks for watching it would mean a lot if you subscribe to this channel now this one also i'm going on tour co-headliner with jordana okay Tickets are on sale now. Come see me play some songs and bark at the crowd. I like to make eye contact with everyone who comes to the show and the crowd. I like to look at everyone in the eyes. So it'll be fun or else. Okay. Bye, guys.